So we start from last year building a decentralized service of drones that could fly autonomously and capture data and then uh, move this data into data insights that we can sell. So we did a proof of concept in Papua New Guinea where we had this drone that autonomous, autonomously flew over the plantation of coconuts and then analyzed how many coconuts per tree. Then we used this data to sell to hedge fund. So then we had the problem of scanning the drone due to regulation and all this stuff. And then lately, over the past six months, we've been working on something. Instead of having problems with data collection, now we use the four biggest satellites worldwide. So now we don't have a problem of data collection. So I'm going to show you. This is a, so we're building a protocol, but the concept is you got a huge value of data from space, geospatial geo analytics. And this is increasingly, this is growing very fast, but no one is trying to actually to capture this data. So you can actually make better decision, decision triggers and capture data analytics to sell to hedge fund or to predict the, the production of cacao worldwide or to do uh, parametric insurance, for example. Uh, cool. So what we do, we build like Numeri or like Kaggle. I don't know if you guys know about Kaggle and Numeri. We build a competition of data scientists that are incentivized to build a specific model for a specific use case. So we pay data scientists 25,000 die to build a model, and we give them 10% stake in this model. So then those models can be used by, dif for, by different companies to fetch data. For example, we're building a, a model that can predict the number of cacao plantation in Brazil. So the data scientists build this model and then you get 25,000 die and also 10% ownership of this model. So every time Edge Funds wants to collect data from this specific model, the data centers receive 10% stake. So we got a company in Paris, for example, they're doing this. They build a model that can calculate the position of the ship, the containers in the ocean, and they sell the analytics to data, uh, Edge Fund. They're making between three and five million US dollars a month. So I'll let you know how much would be for if we decentralize this entire market cap. So what we do, we tokenize this model, we turn them into a non-fungible token, and then we give opportunity for anyone here to invest in this model. And then the clients pay directly. So the intrinsic value is the money that is paid by the client, and then you can, uh, you can own a stake of, of this model. We can also turn this model into oracles. So what we're doing, for example, for one of the biggest insurance companies in the world, we're doing, we, we connect this, for example, a farmer can link his land, can sign his crops and policy through the AXA insurance company, and whatever happened to this land, we trigger the oracle and we verify there's nothing. For example, we calculate the damages that happened to this crop between zero and five, and we give a, we give a number, so then we can do automation claim. The farmer can actually receive automatic, automatically. So this is what we, Building, for example, as model dashboard, the design is a bit taken from 0x, where well, you can see all the different models. For example, coffee yield. We're building something in the uh, Mexico beach. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm a bit. Uh, we're building something in the Mexico beach. For example, you have rooftop anomalies. So we have this model that can use, it's a machine learning model that can fetch data from a satellite, and we calculate on GPS based location what is, what, what we, in, where are all those anomalies per rooftop. Then you can, for example, you can connect to foam or, or stuff like that. We're building uh, an interesting project, which is carbon offset for forest density. We can monitor from space what is the density of the forest, and then we can tokenize this. Uh, we, we can basically use a carbon offset. This project is called Reforestrum. And by doing so, what you can do, you can buy a piece of this forest, and then it will show through a certificate how much you've been participating in carbon offset. So then you can actually reclaim a tax incentive at the end of the year. Um, so you can see on this dashboard that we got NTN token, which is called the nitrogen, nitrogen token. But then we got something else, which is called nitrogen X. And this nitrogen X is actually captured by using a bounding curve. And this bounding curve lets you, I'm going to show you. Is that loading? See the slide on the internet, so it's a bit slow. Okay, let's go to the next one. 
Um, oh, okay, cool. So we got uh, all these different models, and then we can use the model as an Oracle API. So we can actually link this Oracle, this model to prediction market like Nozis or Augur. And we can also like link into different smart contracts. We can do like decentralized insurance company like Etherisk. Uh, we can also build a, mod a DAO, and a DAO will be something that will be specialized for renewable energy or climate change. And this climate change DAO will have all the different models about the climate change. So for example, we're building a model, we send someone in Antarctica that we can capture the, how fast is the ice in uh, melting. So we can actually capture this data. Um, and we can also have exchange market with private uh, people that can actually trade in those model. So you can actually apply any kind of financial instrument on the top of this model. So derivative, future, cap, um, swap, cat swap. So this is like, for example, in this example, we got a DAO that is specialized in agriculture. So we got a coffee yield model, carbon credits, cacao biomass, crops analysis. So we can capture, we got those five, four different biggest satellites, they give us access to five or six different bands, which is RGB colors, we got infrared, we got biomass uh, spectral camera, so we can extract, so you got the different layers into the protocol you can actually capture data and turn them into useful information for those models. I'm sorry for starting. Um, so yeah, the, sto the token staking is, is interesting. So what we do, the nitrogen token, you stake it in against the model and it gives you a return based on the building curve. It gives you like this nitrogen X. Those nitrogen X cannot be traded. They can only be used in this model. So you can actually capture and you can invest in those models as an investor and then capture revenue income. For example, the model can, we can have this landing page of all the different models that have been generating money over the past three months and what is the expectation or the prediction of this model generate, to generate money in the next three months. For example, we know there's a catastrophe going to happen in Caribbean island, and we have this specific model that can capture what is the stage, what is the, the degree of damages in Caribbean island. So we know this model will be used and generate a lot of money. So you can actually stake it into this model. Um, so that's what I was explaining. You invest, you stake your token, and then based on, if you're early stage, in the model, so the model was just created, you get the most of uh, nitrogen X, and you can actually use it to, you can use it to spend in the model. But at some point, the model will get up in value, so then you can always sell your nitrogen X. It would be more advantageous to sell them to actually consume the data. We go, one, one nitrogen X gives you one access to a computer, computational power for, for running those data into the model. Um, so yeah, that's, so per model, you can see how much you've been staking against them, and how much if you reach, if you get if you get the the stake back, how much will give you in uh, nitrogen X. Uh, so yeah, you can actually build oracles mechanism. Also, so this is the five different application that we're building. We're building a crops parametric insurance um, um, mechanism, so you can actually link this to Easter risk. So this is kind of like building a proof of observation from space. So this, this is a protocol layer to give you in, uh, data insight from space. We're building carbon offset, rooftop anomalies for insurance industry, commodity trading, and uh, tracking for climate change. So those models are being built internally, and we are planning to um, uh, give access for anyone to invest in those models to, to the first two, like in the coming weeks. But the plan is to let anyone build model through a competition, like the same as Numeri is doing. Numeri is doing this for the financial stock market. We're doing this kind of same uh, model, uh, mechanism for visual data coming from, uh, from space. Uh, yeah, this is just like, um, for example, cat catastrophe, uh, uh, catastrophe insurance. So you can have this model that give you uh, insight or give you like a, a binary input. So those models, they can be, uh, the plan is long term, you can also like train or like run the computational of those models into Golem or like into uh, other, uh, other platform. Yeah, so we're building also this, mo the, um, this model for rooftop anomalies. So this is the kind of information you can get from, from space and this can also be plugged into different models. Um, 
Thank you. I, I, I'd like some other slide, but it's not loading, so.